Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Fishing North Atlantic. Now as you can tell, we are on the double trouble. Now we only use this boat like a handful of times. So uh, I decided to get on out here and uh, get the double trouble back. I did sell uh, the full throttle, that's what it was. And uh, you know, I just decided, you know what, screw it, let's sell it. Because we ain't going to use it or anything. So I was like, you know what, we're just going to sell it. Uh, right now it's August, so let's see. Cod is out and everything is going off. What do you want? Okay, that's just my lady, of course. Uh, so Pollock, Redfish, Haddock are in at the moment, and Silver Hake is in. So we should be making a few dollars from that. So as you can tell, we're going long lining once again. Uh, it's been a while. It really has. Uh, so that's why we're going to be doing it. Let's see. Yeah, let's get Silver Hake. I don't want Swordfish because we'll probably be doing that here shortly. So let's see. Where is... Oh, the Silver Hake's like right there. Okay. Well, we could do that. Oh, fuel is all the way up. Okay, so I don't really remember anything about this boat. I do know that uh, once you got out in the rough water... What? I didn't even hit it. Once you got out in the deep swells the deep ocean then uh, that's when things got a little hairy uh, but other than that you know everything was fine we can hold a hundred and ten thousand pounds so that's uh that's good and then we're just gonna go straight out right where it is and we need to figure out if they went north south east west so on and so forth we have 20 lines um, I don't know what silver hake actually eat so I have five lines of each oh look at there Okay, let's get uh, good old Sadie to prepare the line. And then basically we're just going to go on out and uh, hopefully catch some fish. Looks like we got some cod in there. Now, sadly, we can't catch the cod because it's out of season, but uh, we can do everything indeed. Uh, let's see. Oh, are you going to do that again? Okay, fine. Go to that, and then I'll go do it. Uh, how do I get out of here? Like I said, we've <laughs> we've only used this boat like once. So I gotta figure out what we're doing. And it looks like I gotta go set the line, which is okay, I suppose. Okay. Now, if we set her back, we should be able to get her to set it. I mean, of course, we're just gonna have to figure this out. So if I set the th 5,000 line should be going good and of course this, this takes a little bit of time but uh, I'll, t I'll chat with you a little bit <sighs> so this week we've done uh, so far one fish north Atlantic this is now number two an ATS and a gold rush video hopefully you guys have been enjoying it uh, you know it's uh, it's been interesting playing gold rush uh, just because it's been day one and we literally haven't uh, haven't slept or anything yet and we've made what 200 ounces already maybe 250 so uh, we're doing good uh, as you can tell we did get the big excavator and uh, I did sell it actually no you saw me buy it but you didn't see me set it up yet so that will be on the next video it could be Friday since uh, I know that uh, ATS is not the you know most loved series um, but I don't know I'm debating. Uh, I have been looking at other maps on ATS, so uh, we'll be uh, probably looking at that a little bit later. So hopefully you guys are uh, ready for that. Another other than that, we've just been kicking around. Today is March 5th, 2021. So it's the same day as I've been recording all of this. Um, but yeah, I mean, just been kicking around the house. Pretty bored, honestly. I mean, I mean all I ever do is go to work and sit at home. Go to work, sit at home. Go to work, sit at home. That's what, that's all I do. So, a little bit boring. Wanted to do something else, you know, something else with my life. <laughs> but uh, you know, I don't really know what to do. It's it's we're in that in between stage, especially in Oregon, where it's always rainy. So you know, you can't hang out outside or nothing like that. Especially with this whole COVID thing going around, you, you know, everything shut down. And uh, as soon as they open it up a little bit, they shut it back down again. So it, it's kind of in a limbo stage. So uh, hopefully they can straighten that out and, uh, you know, 
get our lives back. And, uh, you know, of course, when I was working this last week, uh, it's been uh, uh, sunny, beautiful days, 60-degree days, you know, everything's beautiful. And then uh, this is my first day off on Friday here, and all of a sudden it's raining. So it's like, really? But, I mean, like I said in previous videos, I mean, we do need the rain. Uh, need the snowpack, too, so that hopefully we don't burn to death in, uh, in the summertime. But, uh, you know, hey, we live, uh, we all have nat natural disasters that we have to deal with, and fire is just ours. And so, uh, hell of a lot better than, you know, a hurricane or tornado or something like that, tsunami or whatever. So, uh, I think we can handle the fires. And, uh, what's, what's really funny is everybody complains about the fires and everything else, and it's like, I'd rather deal with that than other stuff so but anyway hopefully she will actually do that we set one i think what we're going to do is we're going to set five just to see what is uh going on it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of anything else other than cod down there so we might have to uh move a little bit so we might set two or set one more and then go somewhere else and then set to three uh, we'll definitely, you know, just have to wait and see. Now, hopefully, like I said, she has set it, but it doesn't look like she has. Uh, can we, you know, set something? There we go. Okay, so we just had to, we just had to change it up a little bit. So we're gonna, we're gonna set five lines, and then uh, we'll basically be right back with you, uh, so you, that you don't have to uh, sit and watch. So we're either gonna set five or, or ten. I don't know yet. Probably just five to see. Because uh, 110,000 pounds is not the most, uh, especially when you can catch 20,000 pounds a line. Uh, so we'll definitely see. So uh, anyway, uh, I will be right back after that is done. So I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back, and I honestly, I, I laid out six. Just because I wasn't sure if five was going to do it or not, and uh, I didn't want to just put, you know, five out there. Uh, so I got six, and uh, I'm going to be doing the uh, manual labor, as in uh, long line hauling, just because, you know, I wanted to do it. We could have got a fourth person on there, but eh, why? Let's see, I think the lines go kind of crooked-wise. Now, hopefully this boat is a little bit better than what it was before. Oh, good. Uh, let's see how good we done. 14 isn't bad. 15 is the max line. So, whoa, look at that one spinning and... and whoa, that one... <laughs> Stop moving! Oh, okay. So, now that we're back... Okay. I mean, so, yeah, it's not bad. I do remember why I don't necessarily like long lining. And that's because the 500... Um, or 5,000 hook line took forever to get. <laughs> Um, in game is about 25 minutes apart, so uh, it it took a while to uh, set, but that's fine. Uh, it took like 10 minutes or so to set them all. Oh great! I think these are Pollock. Yeah, I think those either Pollock or Haddock. I don't know, but either one. They they you know they're like a little monkey or something flipping out all the way over there. Uh, the boat itself, it's actually been hauling pretty good. I don't know if they've updated the boat or not, but it's actually handling pretty good. Whoa, there's some fish flying everywhere. Uh, so that's actually good to know. Uh, but then again, we are in like 80 yards of water or whatever, so not too terrible. But here, now we get to see our last uh, hook, 31,000 pounds. Um, <laughs> whoops, looks like we're going to be uh, overweight, so that ain't good. So hopefully, uh, I mean, we're not too far from Yarmouth, Yarmouth, yeah, one hour, so I mean, hopefully we can, we can get them, go back and come back out, but I mean, we'll only have one way to find out, and already we're absolutely loaded to the gills, it feels like. Where is my other... Oh, it's like way up here. 500 yards to be exact. There you go. We'll get a little bit closer anyway. But yeah, 31,752 pounds of that one line. So uh, we are definitely on the fish. And it doesn't even look like it. 
Um, but sadly, we cannot. I don't think we can um, fish here for tuna. I don't think. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the tuna and stuff are definitely here. Let's see how good they're doing. Uh, it's this one. Uh, gutting is mostly fives, so uh, that's pretty good. And we have a ton of uh, room to get more, more fish. So uh, that is fantastic. But if we get another thirty thousand, then we'll fill the boat up with the three lines. So ain't worried about that at all, at all. Let's see what this one's at. Oh, one of ten. Not very good. So uh, definitely the first one was better. But then again, you know, you never know. Um, I think Red Snapper, uh, which is the first four uh, lines anyway, is definitely the heaviest, I think. Cod is worth the most, but uh, we'll definitely see. But I think, honestly, that we're not doing too, too terrible. Now, the only long line boat that I have actually had that is actually worth something um, is the big black one. Atlantic Charter or something or other. And uh, that one has 352,000 pounds, and that's the one that you want to have. Oh, gee, that one flips me for a loop every time. Um, but honestly, I mean, I wish that they had another big boat. I mean, they have a lot of small ones, don't get me wrong, but I wish they had another big boat that uh, actually you could go out and spend the day, you know, spend the day going and in doing their your thing instead of you know trying to figure out how to waste time and stuff like that so i don't know not much we can do lobster is absolutely everywhere out here but uh i mean honestly that's another way uh, i've been thinking about how to tell you guys how i find fish and lobster and crab and so on and so forth and honestly this is how we do it when i'm looking like i don't look for the tune like, because when I look for the tuna and swordfish, I don't find it. Uh, so, honestly, what I do is I just try to go find something else. Like, here, we're, we're trying to find red snapper, um, you know, pollock haddock, and silver hake. That's, that's what I'm trying to find. And then all of a sudden, we found the tuna, and then we also found the lobster. So, I don't know. I think it's halfway uh, glitched because of the fact why why can't oh because the second buoy yep anyway i think it's halfway glitched because there's a shit ton of lobster but no crab like i haven't seen a lot of crab anywhere so i don't really know what's going on with that and let's back up some more come on come on there we go so yeah i'm not really sure what's going on with that oh great two of these right in a row that is fantastic hey 15 lines so we're definitely it's definitely a good haul if we can you know get them boys to quit moving and then uh, i also upgraded the uh the knife for gutting and the the what do you call it the harpoon the gaff something or other so we upgraded that to uh, the highest one. It only cost me like 250000 or something like that. Something ridiculous. So uh, definitely not... Oh, I thought I hit the button a lot sooner than that. But it's not bad. Uh, it's like plus 8% overall to fish or whatever. And then uh, cutting it is like 8 to 12 or, or something like that. I don't know. I can't remember. But we did upgrade this boat as well. And that was another $250,000. So hopefully... This, these fish will actually pay for the upgrades that we bought. So, I mean, there's only one real way to find out, and that's just to do it. So, I mean, that's all we can do. But anyway, uh, I think we might have to do one more line. Uh, we might actually... I should have skipped some time, but I didn't think about it. Uh, we might go back to... Oh, I don't want to go do that either, because if we go to Yarmouth, Yarmouth then we're going to lose profit. So we're going to have to go over there and then go to, like, uh, Digby or uh, Ingles, Ingles Head or something like that. Oh. Wow. 64,629 pounds. Holy shit. Um, what are we at right now? All storage. Fresh fish, 82,000. Okay, well, you're going to be working for a while. 
Now, we do have some time. Not a lot, but we do have some time. So let's look at the finances right quick. Uh, Going to get rid of COD. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one. And honestly, I mean, that's not terrible. We're not going to Lundenburg. Lockport. Ingles Head. I mean, what one's better? Ingles Head or... So, 84. Yeah, it's about the same. Which too many to keep track. So, uh, let's actually go back to Yarmouth. Yarmouth, whatever. So that's an hour and two away. Oh yeah, we're a long ways away from that. Three hours. So let's go back to Yarmouth. Yarmouth. I've heard it pronounced both ways. To me, it's Yarmouth. But then I've heard a Canadian, uh, YouTuber Dre, that uh, I watch said Yarmouth. So I don't really know. Hopefully these get... Oh, gee whiz. So I hope I don't lose it. But we might. So, I don't know. Oh, we have to... No, 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 no. I didn't want to do that. Uh, let's anchor for... We're going to lose them. <laughs> We're going to lose them. Are you done? Yeah, you're done. Sell on board, 259000 So it's not the best. But we did pay for our uh, stuff. Let's see what the lines are at. I mean... They're still good. So let's actually, you know, do it to it. and We might as well pick it up. I mean, if we can get out there in time, we might as well. But they've been blue for a while. So. Let's just circle around Robin Hood's barn. And we'll probably pick them up. Let's just straighten this out, because that just makes sense. We'll just straighten that. Yeah, so it turned green. Yeah, I mean, like I said, hopefully we can get something out of it. Let's turn on the... Oh, wow. Yeah, that, that one's worthless. Uh, where is it? Uh, okay, I see the orange buoy there, but where's the other one is what we need to find out. And I'm not seeing the other one, so I guess we're just... I think it's right there. Yep, oh, right there. So we're just going to run and then and, and pick it up. So honestly, you know, long line isn't bad. I mean, you're definitely going to... Without the big boat, that big black one, I can't remember what that name is, but without that boat, you're going to be, uh, you're going to be, you know, mining for a while. Grinding, mining. So, uh... Anyway, we'll keep on going. Yeah, 10, it, it's not good, but I mean, I didn't want to leave the lines out. And we could definitely uh, set more lines and stuff like that, but I mean, we got 20 and uh, 3 filled it up. So, <laughs> you could definitely stay out here for a while. But then again, you know, th th this is the craziest part about it, is that you catch so much fish, but you don't have the room for it. I mean, and so you're, you're basically burning a, a crap ton of fuel, losing fish, which is ultimately losing profits, baiting it all, because you have nowhere to put it. And so, you know, like, that's why that big black boat, Atlantic Catcher, I'm, I think, no, because that's the crab boat. I don't know what it is. That big black boat, hopefully you all understand what I'm talking about, uh, that's the one that you want long line, because then, you know, you get think about a million bucks or something like that. 23,000. That's still not bad. 23,000. That's not bad at all. So. Anyway. Ah, people. People, people. Okay, now hopefully we can catch up to this one. Now, I wanted to do this because of the fact that the first one's going to be worse, so I didn't want to get the last one worse. But we have 86,744 and a half pounds that we can be catched, or be catched, that we can catch. And then uh, we'll go from there. Can this? Yeah, it can. Oh, yeah. Look at that. What is this? Logbook. Interesting. You know, 
we really haven't done much in the wheelhouse of any boat. Well, I guess except the, um, what do you call it? The trawler. Oh, turn, baby, turn. Oh, barely, 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 barely. Get it. There we go. Don't know how the line's straight, but, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take it. Five. Ooh. Terrible. But then again, red snapper. We probably got into the red snapper, and I'm guessing red snapper don't, don't weigh a lot or something, because when red snapper's on the line, you don't get a lot of, a lot of fish. So, we're just gonna have to take that with the stride of things. Or the string of things. I don't know. Whatever. Like I said, I've been I've been recording all day. <laughs> I think my mouth's tired. Six thousand nine hundred and seventy pounds on that one. And then we got this last one here. And then we'll be done. Which I mean long line isn't bad. I mean it's just uh you know, like I've been complaining about the the boat is just it isn't big enough. I mean we like if we had the lunar bow and a million pounds then we could be you know that would be interesting i mean like even if we had a boat for well let's see this this boat can hold hold 80 strings or 80 lines so if you had 80 times 30 that would be what 2.7 mil or something like that. yeah 80 times 30 no. Yeah. I don't know. Somewhere in there. You know, my, my brain's turned off. But I think it's 2.7 mil. And so we would fill the boat up if we did this every single line for 80 lines. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, I want to I wanna check on my phone what that actually is. Because <laughs> now I'm doubting myself. So 30,000 times 80... Oh, it's 2.4 mil, not 27. So it's 2.4 mil. Which, like I said, you would be out here for a while. But is it going to happen? Because that would be a really big boat. Are you done yet? Gutted fish, fresh fish, 4,000 pounds. Okay, so you'll be done literally in, in absolutely no time. Let's just skip ahead an hour, and then you'll probably be done. Yep, you're done. And 91. So what's the last one? 279. So, I mean, 350,000. We'll, we'll just do that for six lines. And, and that was even bad. So, I mean, if, if we went out there strategically and everything else, I mean, we could we could figure it out. But, uh, but anyway, that's double trouble. We've been uh, working a little bit at it, and uh, that's long lining. Now, if you want to see more of this, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and comment down below. Because that's the only way that I will know that you guys want to see it. But anyway, thank you all so much for the support. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.